Hi, this is Ben with Novalock Stereophonic. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on the Pioneer SF850 Active Electronic Crossover. So this is a piece that <clears throat> would be used if you've got a uh, three-way or two-way type setup that you want to do. Um, a common example would be you wanted to run a uh, stereo tube amplifier on your on your uh, your tweeters and run a solid state amplifier on the on the woofers inside of your speaker, something like that. Or you have some speaker that allows you to feed speaker wire independently into the to the low, mid, and high drivers, and you can run an amplifier on each and then uh, balance them out. So what this piece is doing is allowing you to adjust the the frequencies and and the cutoff points for for each specific section, low, mid, and high. Um, the controls on this unit are separated uh, by low on these three. This controls the mid-range band and this controls the highs. Um, the test setup that I'm running is this speaker here is running the, the mids on a tube amp. This amp is doing this speaker on the highs and then I've got an active subwoofer on the bottom to, to carry the lows. <clears throat> Now the best way to describe how this piece functions is to look at the, the graphical representation of the frequency on the, on the unit itself. So they draw this in for a reason. It gives you a reference to what the controls are doing. So if we look just at the mid-range band to start, we have two adjustable crossover points which correspond to these two control sets. For each band we can adjust the frequency point and the, uh, the slope, meaning how severe this curve is. The 18 dB slope is going to be pretty tight and then the 12 and the 6 dB are going to give you more of a you know a rounded off or just more frequencies coming down in volume as you as you go to the outside so when we set these controls to flat it's as if you're tipping this up and allowing all the frequencies to pass same thing here if we took this one and set it to flat it's as if you're sending the whole frequency uh, spectrum to the to the mid-range output so I'm just going to demonstrate that quick on the on the mid-range control. So we're set to flat. When I turn up this control, we're going to hear full frequency response out of this speaker here on the left. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do to demonstrate the this here, so when we're in the flat position, these controls are going to be completely bypassed. Because you're flat, there's no point in setting a a crossover point. When I move these controls, there's no audible difference. But as soon as I change the slope, we're going to put these to 18 dB, and I've put these the high cut and the low cut both at 1K. So if we imagine kind of right here in the center is our, our cutoff point between these two, we've got some sort of triangular shape here in the middle. And at 18 dB, we have a pretty severe slope. So when I turn this up, we're going to get almost no, no frequency. It's going to be really anemic, right? Now, as I turn this control on the low end, the slope is going to change. So we're going to start to allow some more frequencies. We're not changing the crossover point. We're changing the way that this curve works. So when we do this, we're starting to hear more, more um, frequencies come in. Uh, in relation to that curve. When I change this control, we're gonna hear big differences because we're shifting this point over. Same thing here, let's change this. So right now our curve is something like this. It's going almost flat all the way through this. We flatten it out and just get a little bit more response. For the high section, I'm going to start this out at 8K, we don't have a flat option because it's implied if you're, if you're putting this flat then you're not going to be running this section. So when you have, uh, <clears throat> when you're running the, the high section you have to do the high pass. So we're going to put this at 18 dB, dB for demonstration purposes and we're going to hear just the very very high end out of the speaker here. And as we bring this back, more frequencies are going to come in. 
You can do the same thing on the low end. In my setup here, the, there's an internal crossover in the, in the sub, so we're not gonna get a whole lot of change in these controls. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that I can mix in a sub down here at low level. One of the, uh, the cool things about this piece is you can use it in a few different configurations. The manual gives you three options. You can either run it three-way, which is what I'm doing right now, low, mid, and high. You can run it where you're combining the low and the mid together. Basically, you would be running this flat coming out of the mid, and now it would give you this high cut point and then flat to the end. So you're using these controls to give you all the low frequencies and mids, and then you would have an output coming out of your highs um, to, to give you a separate high control. Alternatively, you can do the opposite where you're giving yourself a low control, you're doing a crossover here, but then you're putting it flat here. So you get full response out of this side, you cross it over here, and then you have your lows affecting your sub, which is a good way to do it if you have, uh, if you're trying to use like an external subwoofer in a situation like this where you've got small bookshelves that maybe won't produce all those super low frequencies and then you can create a nice curve to kind of relieve these so they're not playing frequencies they can't handle. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that they <clears throat> allow you to completely overlap these crossover points. So this is corresponding to these two points here and you're able to um, completely overlap them. You can see that they have the same frequencies in both for the high and the, the mid and the low and the mid controls. What this allows you to do is, is make a really smooth transition between two speakers. Um, and I'm just gonna demonstrate basically what you can do here mixing things together. So we're gonna do a crossover point here. the demonstration of the SF850. Comment below if you have any questions.